so I'm starting off from the rear end of this vehicle today because the sun is especially bright outside, but this is a Mercedes-Benz GLA 250. This is Mercedes' uh, crossover slash small SUV. Um, and it really takes inspiration from Mercedes' original A-Class vehicle, um, which was not really in the United States at the time that this vehicle is here. And I'm sorry again, it is very sunny. Uh, but this vehicle takes a lot of inspiration from that car. And uh, you're going to see how in just a minute. You can see there's planes flying in and the roads are busy. So there's going to be a lot of distractions today, but we'll try to fight through it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started in the front. Save the best for last. Alright, so here in the front you have these beautiful headlights. And I believe these are your LED headlights because the standard would have been like a regular like halogen or whatever headlight. But you have these LED headlights here. Fog lights down below. And here you have your three-pointed star with your chrome accents in the grill. And it's looking real nice on this cool Texas evening. You have this Mercedes-Benz emblem in the, on the top. And then your chrome on the bottom. Same thing on this side. You know, you have these pickle fork mirrors or turn LED turn signals with your blind spot monitor because Mercedes Benz is all about safety. Uh, what I don't like about this car is the black plastic that goes all along the uh, underbelly of the car. Um, I'm not seeing any keyless entry on this car, but this door handle is looking really scratched up, if you can see. Yeah, the, yeah, you can kind of see the scratches there. Um, so I'm not, I'm not seeing keyless entry here on this car. Um, I'm assuming this is a base car, which I'm pretty sure it is. Let's take a look. We'll take a look at the sticker real quick. This is certified pre-owned here at Mercedes-Benz Grapevine. Um, and then you have your brakes there with your nice rims. Not the best rim design, but who cares? You have the, these LED tail lamps with your chrome protective plate on your bumper. You have your Mercedes-Benz uh, three-pointed star there and your GLA 250 badging. Let's take a look in this back. And you can see that is a power hatch, as you can see. So in the back, you don't have a ton of space, but you have sufficient space. Um, under here, you have a lockable storage space. Um, you have netting here. Another thing that you will find very useful in this car if you're a skier is this uh, ski um, thing. So what you can do is you can open this up and put skis through here and leave them Half of the skis will be in the back, half the skis will be in the trunk, and it looks really, really good. You also have your cargo cover here, and overall this trunk is looking really nice. You can see stickers are peeling off there, which is not a good sign. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and close it using that power hatch. That comes so handy in cars nowadays. Let's go to the other side. I just love how they vacuum these mats. Like, it just looks absolutely stunning. All right, in the back seat, it doesn't look like anybody sat back here, but then again, Mercedes-Benz a great find. Probably cleaned this thing out. You can see your chrome on the edges of this uh, window uh, opener and closer, I guess. You have soft touch stitched leather here, which is looking, which looks really nice. I'm saying looking a lot. Uh, you have chrome on the bottom, or is this just aluminum? It's probably just an aluminum brushed nickel kind of trim there. You have um, your nice leather here. Um, enough, enough space for me. I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, um, but for an adult, it might be a little tight back here. Um, you can see over here you have your uh, center console area in the back which is cheap plastic once again but you do have your uh, AC vents and your 
outlet here with your ashtray. No pockets in the back. Um, and then you have this center console area with your cup holders. Let's go ahead and head into the front seat because this car is just beautiful. I've always wanted a red car and the black interior really complements that. Black or red are the best colors that you can get. Or black and beige are the best interior colors you can get. You can see it's not very bright, but you can see that illuminated, uh, that projected star down there. All right. Okay, so in here, starting off on the door panels, same thing pretty much, except you have power seats, memory seats. Um, you have your window controls here with your mirror controls. The mirrors, I'm assuming, do not fold. Um, you have this soft touch leather, same stitched soft touch over there with your nice leather up top. On the dash, everything's looking really nice i like this little overhang that they did um you can see your headlamp controls there um with your parking lights you have your parking brake there your trunk release there which will close it and open it uh, i believe this is your cruise control stock look at that beautiful a321 sorry i get off track a lot um the leather on the steering wheel it's not shiny, it's not showing its age too much. You have paddle shifters and uh, your grippies here. You have your uh, gear shift here. You just go up for reverse, down for drive, and below the point of resistance for neutral, and then in for park. Here you can see your other stock there, and this is a good steering wheel design for Mercedes, but not their best one. You can see here, this is kind of like a, I'm not even sure if this is real, it doesn't look real, but it feels like really smooth and aluminum-ish, but then you can see the grain in it, so I'm assuming this is real wood, though. Hopefully Mercedes wouldn't cheat us out with that. You have your four vents here, your propeller-style vents, uh, which look really nice. Your frameless uh center display which just looks better without the big plastic frame around it down here you have your buttons your dials um you know you can use this to control that center display all right and then you have your heated seats dynamic select your uh engine start uh your eco start stop which will when you're at a red light and you have your foot on the brake you can, it'll automatically turn the car off, and when you put your foot off the brake, it'll turn the car back on again. Um, a lot of people hate it, because it only few, saves like a couple miles per gallon, but if you're really concerned about that, it's something that you definitely should do. So this turns it on, and you can obviously turn it off. Down here, you have cheap plastic, but that's expected for Mercedes-Benz is what, cheapest SUV. So you have your uh, dual zone automatic climate control. You have a, like, storage space, which is kind of broken. But you do have an ashtray, and the cigarette lighter is missing. Uh, you have cup holders, as well as two cup holders here. I don't know why they need the two, but who cares, whatever. You have your uh, command for your display up there looking. It looks, again, amazing because there's no frame. They did that a lot, and it looked, like, ugly. Like, it looked like a Hyundai or something. So I'm glad that this one doesn't have a flame. A, a frame. Oh, my gosh. My English, bro. All right. So, yeah, you do have your um, controller there. In your center console, you have sufficient storage, and you can slide it back and forth uh, so you can rest your arm down. And then you have your glove box with your recall information. Um, up here you have your vanity mirrors. Fun fact, Mercedes-Benz a great find is an Avondale dealership now, but it used to be a Park Place dealership that got sold, um, which is saddening. 
um, because this was a great Mercedes-Benz dealership, and it replaced my favorite Park Place dealership, which was Mercedes-Benz of Bedford. Hate to ramble like that, but there you go. So you have your par original Park Place sticker there and your vanity mirror. Um, you have your home link down there with your mirror, rear view mirror. You have your sunglasses holder and your um, whole little overhead console. Let's take a look at that sticker. I'll take a look at it when I get outside. Um, and then, yeah, there is memory for the passenger side too, which uh, is a great feature. Um, is there anything I'm missing? Probably not. All right, let's get out of this car. You can see it has okay miles, I guess. I mean, how many miles has had it? Let's see that. I'm not sure. Alright, let's take a look at this uh, sticker real quick. So it's a 2019 GLA 250 for $35,000. A little overpriced in my books. Um, but you can see all your options there. Uh, checks out on Carfax. Carfax. And yeah. So this is the, uh, I guess now that I know, the 2019 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250. I'm filming on an iPhone 10, so it's a little uh, zoomed in. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.